So coming in, the piercing fist coming in, right? Or the phoenix eye fist. That is the challenging technique. We come in right across. This way also be coming on the angle of this way coming down, it's also coming up. Right? But but this is really more like fifth degree level techniques. Can someone lower level do that? Of course they can, if they train for that. But now what about what about somebody who was like, oh, I just got my blue belt. I'm a red belt. And then we have what's called bear's paw for the same. But this is bear's paw. So bear's paw is just like that. Put my hand. And how's this work? It looks like a fist, right? It's one of the closed hand strikes. When you knock on the door, that's what you're doing. Knock, knock. Who's there? Bear. Bear who? Bear's paw. Just like that. Feel that. Feel the leverage of your wrist. Feel what that feels like, right? So now, where does this go? Right there, same place. This is much easier. So from here, I come this way, see that? And with this ridge right here, like I'm knocking on the door, in. And of course, I can go out. I can snap it back, or I can follow through, and follow through. What does that mean? Follow through, see that? And follow through. So this is the bear's pull. Since we're here, let's just do that. You're gonna do your left hand, All right? So step back and swing that in, either for the temple or lower mass tour. This is better. I prefer this. I like them awake. In, good. And then you come out with either hammer fist or back fist or back knuckle strike or knife hand. Of course, there are more techniques to come out with, but we can't pack it with too much stuff. So now, hands up, let's do it again, the same side. Come back, and bears pour. When you come back out with the technique you want to come out with, then you follow through. And you follow through. Right, good. Let's do the other side. So you're going to step back. And your right hand comes in, bears pour, good. Then it comes out, you choose your technique, back fist or hammer fist or knife hand or back knuckle strike. And then right away, follow right in, right through. Get the head snapping back so we know the groin is forward. And then come down here, get the groin. One more time, hands up, we move back. And bears pour, then come out, hammer, and follow through with fist or palm. You know where it's going. And then dropping down low. Good. Share the wrists, ankles, share the body. So the main focus today, though, right now, is the piercing fist or feelings like this, you want to remember. So from here going forward, see, going forward, very easy to master. This, you can master three weeks. Master means what? You put your hands here, when you pull the trigger, it's going to do the job. If you train properly, three weeks. So from here, bend the legs, how to do it. One, now, and left, then your left side, two, down, then right side, one, down, then left side, two, down, just like that. You work your way to that, but you have to start this way. Take the fist, shift the body, back open, relax. Then make the fist, shift the body, then open, come right back. And again, make the fist, Shift the body. Open, come right back. Then your left hand, make the fist, shift the body, and come right back. So you have to start that way. You gotta start slowly, all right? Because you gotta make sure that you have a quality technique. Well, the best archer in the world is meaningless if your, if your arrowhead is useless, all right? This is the arrowhead. So we wanna make sure it's quality. So what do we do? We make the fist, 
Make sure it's solid. See that? Make sure this is solid in here. Then you do the punch. And you bring it back, open, and the other side. Make the fist, make sure it's solid. You have to train the hand. Then bring it back and open, relax. Make the fist and thrust. Bring it back. Make the fist and thrust. Bring it back. You got to do it that way first. After that, if this is slow, that's the um of the yang. I mean, the um of the yin. After you do the yin, the um, then you practice yang. It's going to be a little harder, but you got to practice yin first. From here, relax, and then the relax, then relax, then relax, then. Okay, do it with me. So you're gonna do your left side first. Ready? So relax. Hana. Then back. Relax. Now you can do the other side. Pull. Relax. Now right, this side again. Set. And relax. Now this side again. Set. And relax. Just like that. So you gotta practice slow, then fast. Yin, then yang. And after you have it with one strike, then you're gonna practice this hand first, we'll do slow first. So, strike, and strike, good, relax. Now this hand's gonna go, strike, and strike, and back, just like that. So, you gotta build, you have to build your personal practice so you can build your personal skill. Everyone's different. So also you have to choose. Do you want to do this kind of a technique? Many don't want to put the time in for this. So if you don't, then don't do that. Focus on the, on the techniques that you want, the techniques that you feel comfortable with. But my, my belief is this. Most people only get a chance to get a piece of the pie. Martial arts is a big pie. Most get a little piece. Okay, you want to rest on the ground? That's what you're going to do? Okay, I'm fine, that's that. Oh, you just want to do some kicks, that's okay, let's just do that. It's a piece, okay? Piece of the pie is not the pie. Piece of the alphabet is not the alphabet. Yes, you can play with parts of the alphabet, but it's the whole alphabet that gives you power for both writing and reading. So that is my take on learning martial arts. And you get to choose. That's why it's martial arts. In the art class, you can choose. I'm only going to paint black and white. That's it. That's all I'm going to do, black and white. Fine. You can do a lot with that. Or you can use all the colors and then say, yes, I am an expanded artist. It's up to you. So now, so we have going forward. I did vertically. We also practice this way also the same way. Practice both. You feel what's better and also what applies best to you at the time. Now, same thing with coming up. All right, you do one at a time, do slowly, you do fast, right? And then you add one, two, three. You add one, then one, two, and then one, two, three. But make sure it's quality. Don't do fantasy, don't just start going fast and have things going all over the place. There's nothing really there. Because when you need it, you need it to work. It's like a bullet in a gun. If you have a gun, if you ever need it, when you pull that trigger, what do you need? You need for it to work. You don't need for it to misfire, shoot a blank, or, or, or miss a target. You need it to work. So same thing with these strikes. If you ever need it, you will need it to work. And the only way it will work for you is if you do the work. So if you work for it, Get it to a certain level, it will work for you. So remember, so you have straight, vertically, horizontal, up. You have coming. I added that. That's a much higher level skill. But remember, I also gave you the lower level one, the bear's paw. Coming across, just like that. That's the bear's paw. Remember where it goes. And somebody had this question later, so I'll give you the answer now. The bear paw has more angles also. It's much more to the bear paw. It's not just going inside. We have inside, what else do we have? Outside, see that? 
outside also. So we have inside, outside. Do we have up? Yes, we have up. And of course, yes, we have down. You do this knock on the door, right? So look, from here, right here, right there, coming down. That point right there. So, yes, the bear, there's more to the bear's paw. So you have, so you have 18 basic open hand strikes, then there are 18 basic closed hand strike, like fist, okay, like rich knuckle strike, like piercing fist, like little knuckle strike. So a lot of them are similar, they're related, but they're used slightly different. Practice well, practice wisely and carefully.